Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Phantom. We have um, had a bit more of a move down and we have to actually adjust our wave count slightly since we last looked at this video. We did discuss the fact that um, we could see that uh, we had set a new low before we start to move up and it seems to happen so we'll have to adjust this. But before we jump into that I'd just like to say thank you everybody for watching this video and if you're enjoying the content that we're putting out please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, you know this will help to keep you up to date with all the videos we put out. Also turn on the um, bell notification so you never do miss a video we put out. Okay but let's jump into the price action now. So the way we were currently tracking this move is that we were within a 5 wave move to the downside. There was the, an alternative which we'll also go over in this video but this is the um, the primary count that I'm currently tracking and what I'd be looking for here is the potential that we are in a um, in a fourth wave correction so this is our little target area zone um, this is the 0 0.2128 uh, zone is the 0 0.382 retracement of this third wave and this uh, top stop zone here of the 0 0.22 07 is a 50% retracement. So it is possible that we could look to target out one of these areas before moving down in this fifth, as this is a common area that we seem to get um, that we seem to get these retracements to as a fourth wave. So this is possible. Actually, if I just I've got the other I've got the breakout on. So basically what we'd be looking at within this move is the potential that we have an ABC to the upside. And what we'd be looking at within this is basically this would be an A wave, this would be a B wave. And then we'd be looking for that C wave to the upside. So if I throw the fib onto this, drag it up to this point, and basically what this what this does is this measures this wave here, and then it transposes it to this low. So when we have a three wave move like this, what we would be looking for is equality between this A wave and the C wave. It doesn't always happen that we get this equality, but it it, it um, does tend to happen especially within zigzags so it is a potential area we could look to which also lines up quite nicely with the 0.382 zone so this is what i'm sort of looking at the structure within this move currently though it's um it's not it's not indicating that it would be getting up that high that's the only thing because it looks like we have a one one two three it's possible we have some kind of an extension within here, but this would be a one, two, three. Maybe this is a fourth wave and we look to push up one more time. If that is the case, effectively what we'd be looking at is looking to target out this 2111 zone to this 2094 zone, if that does play out. And the way that we would be looking at, at that effectively is this would be a one, two, three, four, and then we'd be looking for that fifth wave to the upside. Though it is also possible to count this as a completed move into this high point, so we'll need to see what, what happens from this point. If um, if I actually just throw that back on there, if we cross below this uh, 1995 zone, then effectively what this would do is it would invalidate this fifth wave to the upside. It wouldn't, um, it wouldn't invalidate uh, completely the chance that we push up higher, it would just mean that within this wave structure here, we would actually have completed at this third wave. We have got this third wave um, marked up. And what this would then actually just be is a shorter C wave here. If this is the case and that is a completed move, what we'd be looking for then is the potential that maybe we're going to have some further extension and this fourth wave is going to get complex. And what we'd be looking for then is a retracement down to this, um, this 092, 992 zone to this 1940 area. And basically, if I just draw a little box on here, what we'd be looking for is a move down into this box and then looking to potentially move back to the upside. So we can see this would potentially look to maybe um, form a double bottom here at a 0 0.618 retracement. So that could also be that could also be um, an alternative is that actually we're forming a more complex move to the upside here where we look to retrace into this box and then we look to push up again in a C wave like this. And what they would be looking for, if we do happen to come back down here and retest this zone, would be still looking up towards this. So the one to one would take us up to this um, 0 0.2157 area, which, like I said, the one to one is common, but it doesn't always have to work that way. So if I delete this out the way here, we could see maybe this 0 0.854 area actually lies bang on this. Um, 382 retracement so it is possible that if we do break down back into the support zone that we have here 
that we could be potentially looking for that move back to the upside. If that does take place, I'll actually be starting to look at this as a completed move to the upside and starting to look for confirmation of breaking down to this zone indicated here of this 18,050 to the 1774. Though pushing up um, slightly higher like that would actually, it would um, change this figure. And basically if I just remove some fib so it's not as noisy. I think I've worked it off. Of, I've worked it off this 382 as it is, so that area wouldn't change. This 1850 to this 1774. Um, so that is a possibility. We could see that we get a bit more of a complex sideways move within this, maybe uh, dragging out over the weekend and just becoming a bit range bound. It is also possible we could look to potentially form a um, triangle here. But we don't have enough evidence to suggest that yet. But should we form a should we form a a b and a c back to the downside? It would be possible that we could um, look to form some kind of a triangular pattern here. Uh, it would be unclear which one it would be um, at this moment because we don't have the information. But potentially, what we could see is that maybe we form something like this as a triangle. A contracting triangle potentially and then look to break down from there um, this is possible it would sort of tie in with the the weekend low volume and christmas and everything happening so it's something we could just potentially look to to see happen over these over this period so that's what we'd be looking for there if we were looking for um this fifth wave to the downside to play out either we'd get some kind of a complex correction into this move and then um, look to break down, or we might even push up and try test this higher zone here. Actually, let me move that down a little bit. There we go, to that 22.05. So moving up past this 22.62 uh, 22 area would effectively invalidate this fifth wave. And um, if we did that, we'd have to recount this move, and then we'd potentially have to have it completed here. Or what we would have is, if I just throw this off again, uh, where is it? Yeah. If we do have a higher move than that, we just need to be aware that, um, or at least be careful that what we aren't forming is just a bigger one and then a two. And if that's the case, what we'd be looking for potentially is looking to see rejection around the, um, let me just give that on that low there, around this 22 uh, cent range. All the way up to this 24 cent range would be a typical area that we could see um, a rejection and if that does take place what that would just mean is that we actually having extensions within these moves and this would be a one two then this would be a one two and then we'd be starting our third wave decline the way we're looking at this currently is that we were looking for a um, an additional five wave move to the downside here as a diagonal looking to form this third wave and uh, we haven't We've had one five wave leg here, so we were anticipating that we could be looking for that continuation. Um, sorry, we haven't we haven't completed this this uh, five wave five wave leg uh, the way we're counting it. So that is what we're looking for there. There was an alternative as well that we were also keeping an eye on. If I just turn all of this noise off and we turn this on. When we started this move to the upside, we were also talking about the potential that we could be looking for a breakout um, of this of this structure, because we were looking at this just as an ABC to the upside, and then we we're looking at this as a um, uh, as the start of a move to the downside. Though until we cross back below the 1637 area, let me just double check that, make sure that that's on this mark because it looked like it was slightly off. 1642 area until we break down below that we just need to bear in mind we did have a five wave move here so we've also retraced here into this green box zone which is a typical b wave retracement which could mean that actually we still have some potential for um, some upside here and if we do move back up and invalidate this and actually take this high point at the top here of um, let me just get this right on here so i can give a good number 2620 if we do move back above that then what we could actually have is a bigger abc to the upside this is not this is not my primary expectation and i don't think it's as likely but it's still possible so we need to just keep an eye on it 
if that was the case, what this one-to-one -one would be looking to target out is effectively this 30 cent 25 zone. Moving up to this 30, 20, 30 cent 25 zone would effectively give us a completed zigzag pattern within this move, and then we'd actually have to look at this and potentially as a um, as an ending diagonal here. I said this before a while back, but I don't really like the structure because this fifth is really small in comparison, but you could look at it as a one a one, two, three, four, and a five with a really small fifth wave within this move. So that is possible. We just have to see how we get on with it. I do think, however, primarily that the target that um, we are going to have this five wave move and then we're going to get a retracement to the upside. So we need to bear in mind this is still possible. And if this is if this does play out, um, what we'd be looking at is the potential of a breakout from this zone. And if I come back in here, we zoom right in on this. What we would be looking at here is the potential that either we have forming a ABC or what we will be doing is if I get rid of this red line because I don't need it there anymore, um, uh, this one. Like I said, we could either form this A, B and a C and then we form that wave two. Or if we're looking for, for this breakout potential, what we could do if I just delete all of this actually is we were looking for the potential that we were forming this white five wave move to the upside. This wave two would have to move over though now because we've broken down below this point. And what we would be looking for is confirmation. So now confirmation of this as a bigger five wave move to the upside, if I just drop this on this low point here, would be a move past this 22 cent 50 zone. That would indicate that we have a typical wave three that that would be the typical travel area of a wave through, in which case we'd look for this wave four to the downside, and then this would adjust this top target slightly. So let me just drag this on down here. So effectively, then what we would be looking at is a target area of this 23330 to this 2283 as a typical fifth wave move. Sometimes these moves can over, can extend and um, go further, so we just have to bear that in mind. But this would be a typical zone we could look to target out. Obviously, within this within this potential, we wouldn't be able to. Um, we wouldn't be able to cross back below this low point here, and if I just throw this line on there, that would be 1965. We couldn't move back down below that, otherwise it would invalidate this potential of a move to the upside in a five-wave move. And if we do look at to develop this move, basically what we would be looking at is the potential that we have this maybe, um, either we have that additional leg to the upside, where this is a one, two, three, four, and a five, or this could be a completed fifth wave at this high point in which we look to break down. If this is the case, what we'd be looking for within this move is effectively whether we move back above this um, this high point in a five-way move. If we do, then we'd mark this. We'd change how this is marked slightly, as this is a one, um, as a one, two, three, four, and a five, and then we'd be looking for the for the um, retracement. But basically, what we'd be looking for here is the potential that we could then see a move back to the downside here towards this, uh, can't really see the numbers at the moment, let me drag them over here. So between this 50%, which is this 02023, and this 1990 zone here, this would be a typical B wave or wave two retracement. And what we'd be looking for with this is effectively we'd be looking for um, this to become a potential wave two. And within this move, we'd be looking at this as a one, looking at this for a two, and then looking for that three, four, five. So this would just be um, giving us more evidence that we are actually within this um, within this third wave. And what we'd be looking at is potentially this could be it could it could be a very shallow um, wave two here as a completed uh, A B C, or we could look to be A um, come down as this is an A, look to move up for a B, and then look to drop back down into this 20, 20 cent 23 to this 1990. For as long as we hold above this 1965 zone, we could still look for potential for this third wave. And if I just go ahead and actually pull that fib back on you, a typical area we could look to target would be this um, 618 area, which would come in at this 20. Uh, 20 cent zone basically. It could look to maybe actually target out the 702 because that's exactly bang on that 20 cent. So that could be a, a psychological level. 
um, as a whole number. So it is possible that we could be looking for that um, for that area where we, we either come down towards a 618 or the 702. If that's the case, what we could then look for is the potential that we do move to the upside here. And what we'd be looking for then for confirmation of this move would be a move above a move above this 2197. So that would be a typical third wave move. And if that would be the case, what we'd then be looking for is this fourth wave to the downside and an additional fifth wave to the upside. Within this move, basically what we'd be looking for is that the fifth wave would come up and look to target out this zone here of this 2246 to this 2215. So that could be a tip. That could be a typical fifth wave zone if we, uh, if the waves progress exactly like I've plotted them out. If there's any kind of an extension and maybe this three overshoots, or maybe we get a, um, we don't get as deep a retracement, or we get a deeper retracement, and then we start to get some progression. Effectively, what we can happen is sometimes we can push this fifth wave up. If this fifth wave does come up and crosses this 2249, then this would be my target area. I'm looking at this 2230 to this 2283. So this is just looking for that potential of a breakout. Um, if we do get this as a five wave move to the upside here, effectively what we'd be looking for then is to see how this reacts. We would want to see if this can then find support again above this 19, uh, 1902 zone. And if that does play out, what we would be looking for is a zigzag or a five wave move to the upside. So effectively what we would be looking at is if I just, um, if I throw this on here quickly for a second, just so I can give you, so this is just like for illustrative purposes, so you can see what we're talking about. We could potentially see this all become a bigger uh, wave one. Then we'd be looking for that retracement, maybe coming back down to this 50% zone finding support there and then looking to push to the upside in a wave three if it was going to develop um, into a bigger five wave structure. So that would be that would be basically what we're looking at there and if if um, we just roughly plot this out what that could indicate then is potentially that we would be looking for this um, this wave three to come up and target this zone of towards this 2844 and then finally, the, th the fifth wave would look to potentially target out the red line area, which would be a one-to-one -one of that A wave that we talked about previously. So I'll zoom out in a second so we can all see what we're talking about here. But effectively, this could actually all just become part of um, a bigger zigzag. And if I zoom out slightly, actually, it's going to the four only, so it's easier to see. Okay, we can't see it anymore. But basically, if I come back into the hourly, we can see that this this would give us the potential of completing this ABC to the upside. So that's something we just need to bear bear in mind. I don't. This is not my primary expectation. I don't think that this is what's going to play out. But nevertheless, like I said, as long as we stay above this 1965 and this 1902, this is a possibility. So we need to be aware of it. If we do start to see some impulsive moves to the upside, which gain some um, traction, then we'd be looking for um, this continuation to happen and potentially to target out these zones. Though really, until we cross uh, back above this high point here at 2620, there would, we would still have to be aware that we could still be looking for continuation. The first clue that this would be um, would be happening is breaking back above this 2558. But yeah, until we until we actually break this high and this high, there is continuation potential here. So we just need to be aware that until we break these, there could be that continuation to the downside, and that is my primary expectation. Okay, so that's where we're going to leave the video today. I hope that everyone enjoyed the content, and if you did, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, leave us some feedback in the comment section down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to Bybit. This is a great exchange. It's the one we use when we're doing our trading, whether it's leverage or spot trading, it's a great exchange. Um, for longing, shorting the market has great risk management tools. So yeah, why not give it a look if you haven't got an account already. And by using the affiliate link, you do help um, support the channel. Also in the description, you'll find a link to Discord. This is a great um, area to also go. You know, you can come have a chat with us. It's free to join. So why not jump into the general chat area? Just add mention a member of staff and we'll be happy to help you out with anything you may need. 
Okay, with all that said and done, I hope everyone has a great evening. And until we see each other in the next video, take care out there, everybody.